Today we've got something a little bit different for you guys. Earlier today, we went out and bought a bunch of Nintendo Switch stuff over at Best Buy and Target, totaling $1,000, and we're gonna go through each and every single item and just see how much of our money was actually well spent. Now before we start sorting through all the stuff we picked up, you're probably wondering what the bins are about. So, we have our Halloween inspired treat bin, which is for anything that we think is kind of cool, worth the money, worth grabbing, that's gonna go in there. Trash can speaks for itself. Now to be honest, I am awful with hand-eye coordination. I cannot throw things at all. So I'm pretty sure nothing I throw is gonna actually make it in either bin, but you'll get the idea as I throw in each general direction. Yeah. All right, so we're actually starting with something that we've done before, kind of at least. This is a different color for the Hori Joy-Con with the D-pad. Now we did a video on the Zelda one, which I thought was really, really nice, but they have another color that's this Mario one that's kind of all over the place, actually. I feel like the Zelda one had like a really consistent theme and like cool look to it. This one kind of like looks like they just put a print over it that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's just a lot of words. I don't. I think the Zelda one looks a lot better, to be honest. And also, I mean, if you've seen our video on this guy, I think doing a shell exchange is just a better idea, but if you're gonna grab one of these, I think go the Zelda route. I think we have our first, hey. Ooh, shiny. Okay, so this is one of the Power A wired controllers, but they always have the detachable cable so it doesn't look wired at first glance. But I didn't actually know these existed until we were at Target. And they have like a Chrome series. If I can open it, where's the? So they had a couple of these from Chrome Designs. We debated on which one I wanted to grab. I really liked this one. Like, I love Zelda and Mario and some of the other options that were out there, but the Metroid one, the red just looked really nice. And I like the gold trim with it. Uh, I've talked about the Power A wired controllers before. I think they're a really good choice if you just want a cheaper, more affordable wired controller. And these just make them even prettier. And I actually, I actually really like the way the kind of gloss feels on it, this Chrome finish. Yeah, you know, I think there are some wireless options out there that are better if you're willing to spend more money, but at the price point, these are pretty good. I think we're gonna start on the treat bin for this guy. Next. Awesome. So, cheating a little bit, this technically isn't Switch exclusive, but I picked up Starlink on the Switch because why wouldn't I? I love Star Fox and that's really what I'm treating this game as. But you know what, I wanted to have at least a couple other ship options. So we grabbed this one right here. This is the Lance ship. So this set right here, you're getting a new ship, one new weapon, and one new pilot, which gives you a different ability while you're playing the game. I think it also alters the story a little bit, which person you're playing as. Yeah, that's actually really cool. I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably still sticking with the R-Wing because once again, it's a Star Fox game as far as I'm concerned. But I really love the detailing you put on all these toys. I think the price is maybe just a little higher than I think is worth it. But you know what, getting at least one more ship set, I think is a good call. So that's a keeper, that's a good one. All right, so not to make a bad pun, but I'm a little late to the party on this one, so we also picked up Super Mario Party while we're at it. I haven't played it yet. I'm not gonna take the time to figure out how I feel about it right now, but I got a good feeling. We're just gonna put that in the good bin. Oh, these things. So these are battery extenders for your Joy-Cons. So if you're tired of your Joy-Cons running out of power all the time, this is a way to give them kind of like an extra backup power supply where you're just loading them up with double A's. I've never had this problem. Joy-Cons are really good on battery life. It's really easy to charge them because you just put them on the dock. If you own a ton of Joy-Cons that you're changing constantly, I guess that could be an issue, but I feel like a charger stand is just a better investment at that point. I, I'm just not a big fan of these. I don't think you really need them and they just make the grip even more comfortable because it just bulks them up. I'm not, yeah, this is, this is in the spin. Our first miss. Ooh, so. We just did a video on these recently. This is the Power A wireless controller they just released. It's not quite as cheap uh, compared to the wired one, 
you're almost paying the same price as like a Switch Pro wireless controller, but these ones have a couple little changes. I really love the buttons on the back and the fact that it runs off AA batteries can actually kind of be a benefit depending on your personal preference. Honestly, main reason to pick this one up is when we did that video, we picked up every color the store had, which didn't include this one and this is actually the one I really wanted. So I really think this one's beautiful. If you can find, if you want to get the Power Wireless controller, this is the best design right now, in my opinion. I love this guy. This is staying. Awesome, okay. Now I think we did, this is one I think we did a long time back. Powerade did their own version of a bag for switches. Yeah, so this is a case that's to be able to carry your switch. It has its own little extra pouch right here. And then a lot of room to do things like the dock, additional controllers, all kinds of cables. Pretty good convenient solution. It's a little bigger than some of the other bag options out there, but if you want room and to not feel like it's just all packed tightly, this is cool. And I actually really like the idea here of turning the design into just old school Mario, especially with having like the underground level beneath it. That's cool, I like that. This isn't gonna fit in that bin, so I'm just gonna go past it. All right, our first not really switch thing. It's a light up mushroom. I'm willing to bet this is batteries not included. I didn't even check. Okay, you know what? Batteries not included, you go in this bin. Next, a hybrid cover. Now we've covered this before, I think a long time ago, because this is one of the earlier accessories they did for the Switch. But with that one, we got this like nice Zelda leather cover one, which I really like. This is kind of a simpler design they have. Yeah, so the benefit to these cases is it's really easy to slot your Switch into it. And it gives you, honestly, the main benefit of it, a much better kickstand solution, because this is gonna give you a better way to set it up. It's gonna add a little protection to your Switch while still giving you a way to see the Switch. A big complaint I've seen from a lot of people about these is they don't like the fact that you can't keep this on the Switch and dock it at the same time, which I mean, it adds a lot of size to it. Personally, it never bothered me. You know, as long as you can just easily slot in, slot out, not a big deal. I will say though, I think the Zelda one's cooler. So yeah, you're going here still. Wired Internet LAN adapter. This was something a lot of people were kind of excited about at launch when it was announced. I don't, I'm gonna be honest, I don't go online quite as often as I should for some of the multiplayer games, but I've never had a big enough issue where I'm like, you know what I need? Wired LAN adapter for the fast internet possible. And the thing is too, it, 30 bucks. I feel like I shouldn't be spending 30 bucks on this. It just, it's hard for me to justify for myself. I'm, yeah, we're over here. Next. Rich, I feel like you're giving me a back-to-back -back of all the worst in this group. We're gonna have some good soon. Megaloblox, but for Pokemon? No, I'm already seeing it from moving parts. We're good. We're good. It's just... Awesome, and now here's something looks good. So, these are the Astro A10s, but it is a branded one for the Switch that features a Zelda design, which looks really awesome. Let's check it out. It, it depends on what they're doing specifically, but the whole black and gold design that started getting associated with Zelda, I thought always looked really good, and I really like its handle here. I don't know if you can see from this distance, but like, the headset actually has the little patterning on the back that's really heavy in Breath of the Wild. Got the Zelda logo on one side, the Sheik symbol on the other, just having the mic. Yeah, it's actually really good looking. As far as like getting it over your headset, like a major branded one, this is, I think, a good way to go for Switch, especially below Zelda stuff. I like it. By the way, if you're wondering about the Switch we're using in today's video, which has this awesome white finish, this is actually a skin that was made by today's sponsor, Dbrand. They have a whole line of Switch skins that are completely safe to use. You can get them for the Switch body itself, the Joy-Cons, or even the dock. And they come in a large variety of colors, but you can also get it in a nice, clean white, or even some special designs like this black carbon fiber. If you're interested in grabbing any, just check out the link down below in the description. Okay, next we have wheels. Oh, this is definitely one of the things we got from Best Buy because they had all Insignia stuff, I think. Is that their brand? Is Insignia owned by them? Yeah, that's why. You, like, you notice there's not as much stuff from Power and PDP over there, but Insignia is everywhere. Like, they just have a couple controllers for the other competitors. And it's a wheel. Okay, look, I'm not a huge fan of wheels for the Joy-Cons because I feel like you can just pull the Joy-Con sideways and you're good, and it's such a tiny, awkward wheel anyways. I think they're fun for kids though, and I will say that the paddles here are better than the ones on the official Nintendo one, so if you're gonna go this route, I actually kinda like these. So, we'll, we'll keep them. I'm not gonna throw them with the Joy-Con in it, but you can go. Miss. Okay, power pack. So, this is another charger option for your Switch. But what's interesting about this one, it's actually a little adapter one that you can use in your car as well. Now, this one goes in the spin. Ah, 
All right, this was interesting to me because this is a hard case. I've seen lots of different carrying cases for the Switch. I probably own too many carrying cases for the Switch, but this is a brand style that actually I totally missed. Who makes this one? Hori. All right. So what's different is most of the other cases that are out there are very soft. If they are hard, they have kind of just like a harder layer of plastic and it's still soft at the base. This is actually like a tough plastic, which is kind of cool. It looks a little smaller though. Let's see, what can we fit in here? So it's not as much room as some of the other cases that are out there. It looks like it's just enough for the Switch itself and then a couple of games. You're not really gonna comfortably fit the charger or other things in here, just because the charge base is as big as it is. But you know, for just the games and the joy or just the games and the system itself, I kind of like this. I like the color design. I like the interior a lot. Yeah, definitely. If you're not the one, if you're not the kind of person that wants to carry around like all of your accessories for your Switch, I think this is a good pickup. It's a good simple one. A new baby! This one's a little too festive for me though. Let's check it out. How do it look, guys? Rich? Yeah, like it? Should I keep it on for the rest of the video? Or at least until if we have another win? Yeah? All right, this is staying on. Hit me, Rich. All right, we got another insignia thing. This is a dock kit. Now, I know there's always the fears of third-party docks after what happened with the Switch 5.0 update. I think that's been mostly resolved, but I don't even know if I want to test this. I'm scared a little. Portable dock for playing on your TV at home or on the go. Yeah, it's not really that much more portable. I mean, it is smaller than the Switch one, but not by that large of a margin. I do like, though, that it doesn't have the front plate at least, so you're sparing your Switch any potential scratching on the screen. Still, though, I... If you're gonna risk third-party docks, I think there's stronger options out there. Let's, yeah. Ugh, all right, armor case. The shell for the Switch itself is a hard plastic and honestly not a super strong feeling one. Uh, I'm not feeling this so far, guys. Well, let's look at the Joy-Cons, because the Joy-Cons are a little weird because this is not a hard plastic. This is more like a kind of silicon, just, a little more rubbery, which is actually a good thing for at least protecting a Joy-Con because you want something that can absorb impact and not just carry it through. If you like the idea of like a protective gel cover, I do appreciate that these ones are clear instead of just giving you a whole nother color. That way you can show off what Joy-Cons you have. And if you're ever using any kind of like other designs or anything, this will help protect it a little bit at least. Um, this one's weird. I actually do, I was unsure at first, but I actually do like these gel guards. I don't like this main body. So we're gonna go ahead and just split this item up. It's worth it for these, not for those. And you can probably find these and learn for cheaper, actually. All right, we got wall art. Look, let me ask with you guys. I have mixed feelings about this one. I like having little pieces of art, and I love old school pixely stuff, but at the same time, I feel like there are certain 8-bit images that should not have been blown up, and this is one of them. I don't know, it's a little weird. Ooh, a grip. Okay, so we actually did a video recently talking about a whole bunch of grip designs, but I did not see this one because this is a Best Buy thing specifically. So let's see how this one kind of stacks up against the ones I'm used to using. You know, I think I still like the Skull & Co one a little better, but I wouldn't I wouldn't hate this one. I like that it's a little lightweight. I dig the different grip design. I like that it's like actually a little softer. Uh, it's not my top favorite, but I think, this is, I think this is actually worth it. I think this is not a bad grip. Ah. The deluxe traveler case. Yeah, you know, it's not the most stylish case. Uh, it's kind of a weird balance of being, you know, a l quite a bit bigger than some of the small portable ones, but not the same kind of convenience factor of like an actual full bag with a strap. But it's a good midpoint. If you want protection and being able to carry everything compactly, this is actually, I think, a good one for like, well, as the name would imply, travel. If you're doing traveling, this is gonna take up not a ton of space in your trunk and carry all your Switch stuff, keeping it protected. I like it. We're gonna go with keep on. All right. Power core. So, I have messed with this battery, but not this specific one. This is Anchor's portable battery that the main point of it, I mean, it's a portable battery. It works for anything, not just Switch. But this specific one is designed to work for how the Switch likes to charge, so it's giving you the most efficient way to recharge your Switch. I really like this battery. I've been using the small one still repeatedly, and this is just a higher capacity version of it, so I'm upgrading to this now. All right, we have another case. If I had opened this one first, I might have put it in the good bin, but I think the Mario one is just a straight up better version of this. I like the material better. I think it's gonna give you more protection. If you're gonna go for a case this small, I would rather have that extra layer of defense than making it stealth. Yeah, that's... All right, next. All right. A push throw. Whenever we get something like this, it ends up being used a bunch. At least for Instagram or like being in, you know, just the background. This is really soft. I'm not sure how much we paid for it, but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say 
it was worth it. All right, more headphones. So these are the HyperX Cloud earbuds. Like I'm not gonna lie, when I'm gaming, I generally prefer over ear, but if I wanted in ears, especially if I was just like out and about and not wanting to have, you know, a giant headphone apparatus on my head, I, yeah, all right, I'd take these. Charging stand. There's a lot of charging stand options out there and there are ones cheaper than this, uh, but you know what? Doing four at once and spinning is pretty cool. The only downside to it compared to a lot of other options out there is that there's no way to just like put a pro controller directly on it. I'm kind of middle of the road on this, guys. I can't decide the, the, this one. All right, another case. It's the Slim Pouch from Hori. This one is even slimmer than some of the ones we were looking at earlier, but that's the entire point. It's not giving you a ton of protection. You're really not fitting anything in here other than the switch itself. Okay, yeah. I, I think I would still personally prefer one of the bigger cases, but if you wanted like the lightest weight option out there, this, is, this isn't bad. I'm for it. Okay, it's a notebook. Covered in Pokemon. Yeah, that's a keep. Another beanie! It's a little snug. All right, next up we have a grip. Which company makes this one? Oh, it's the Power A one. I really like the Power A grips, actually. I've talked about this a little bit before you've seen my like grip videos. Uh, the Power A one is just a lot better than the Nintendo one. It's not even talking about things like charging or like that. It's just a much better grip. It's a little rubbery. It's got a good shape to it. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of using the Joy-Cons in a grip design, but if I'm going to use one, it's this brand. Ooh, candy. Why didn't I get this earlier? I could be snacking on these the whole video. Yep, that's cheap, sugary candy. It goes in. I don't, it's gonna go everywhere. This part will go in. It's good. So when we take the totals of everything that ended up in the good bin versus the bad bin, it ends up being basically 640 versus 360, which is a pretty good split. I mean, part of the reason for that is because in the good bin, we had a lot of the more expensive stuff like the battery, the headphones, a lot of things where, yeah, you're spending more money, but you're getting what you pay for. Whereas the trash bin had quite a few items that were on the cheaper side and sometimes that cheaper stuff was worth it, but a lot of times maybe not so much. 